how can we change a color of the object, something in the picture, the whole picture, the backdrop color. There are many questions and also there are many solutions to this problem, all right? So let's explore few cases today, changing, adjusting the color of different objects, different areas in the image. I already load my image here to Pixelmator Pro. Now I can open up the tools menu at the top and head straight to color adjustments. That's the obvious place to go first. It should pop up the color adjustment menu on the right. As you can see, it's also in the tool panel here as the third tool, color adjustments, shortcut A. All right, and they will have some default presets for us that we can just click to alter colors. Keep in mind there's more than one group here, so we can go to like classic films when you've got some kind of oversaturated sepia-like adjustments. So that's something that you may be familiar with from different apps, so that pre-made filters, you can say. We can see the whole histogram here, and that's give us a chance to actually adjust some areas ourselves. We can reduce the exposure to make it a bit darker. But we don't need to do it for the whole image. We can do it just for shadows or just for highlighted areas. All right, so there are multiple sliders here that will help you adjust the colors in your image. But I know that some of you will need more than that. So let's head to selective color at the bottom. Now I can literally recolor, let's say, yellows. I click on yellow and the first slider for hue, I move them to be red. Take a look. Now my yellow color become more like orange, more like red. I can do the same with the orange color. And I, if I go too far, I'll go into pink. So I literally change the color of part of the image only because the white wall is still white, the sky is still blue, because we're using selective color adjustments. So if I click the blue, I can move it into green, greens. Take a look, I got green sky now, but this pink I made before, it's still here, all right? If you mess it up, you can always click this reset button and we're back to the default selective colors. So this is actually one of the easiest way of adjusting part of the image, all right? Pick the color that you wanna adjust and then move the first slide that changed color of it, all right? So I can make this red pink or I can make them yellow all the way down here, almost like a greenish yellow. You can move the saturation as well. This way you can also desaturate certain colors. Take a look, I can make them gray. So you select like different colors, you can desaturate them completely and you end up with this very nice effects of like selective color, only like one color in the image, all right? So as, as you can see now, I desaturate multiple colors except except yellows and oranges. So now I got only gray, yellow and orange. All right, so we recolor the object here. Okay, that's all nice, but what if you wanna recolor just certain area of the image? Let's reset that. In that case, you will need to use some kind of selection tool. For example, we can select a classic selection tool, oval selection, lasso selection, and there's also a color selection tool, so you can literally click on the color, click and hold to change the tolerancy, and it's highlighted with this white thing. Okay, so let's say I select this area only, and then I apply adjustments only to that area. As you can see, it's affect only this selected area. So you don't need to work with the whole image. You can make a selection first. There are multiple selection tools and work only with that area of the image. All right, so that's all about the image. How about if I wanna change the color of the shape or a text? That's even easier because if you got a shape like this rectangle, you can always go back here to properties and recolor this any moment. And the same thing with the text. If you got text in your project, you can always select the text and the color is here on the right side in properties. You can change the color always until you export this into JPEG or PNG. Of course, in that case, all of the layers will be baked in. All right, so that's how you can modify colors of objects, text and shapes in your 
Pixelmate the Pro projects. I hope this was helpful. Of course, we didn't explore all of the options, but this should give you a good solution for uh, some small changes. And stay tuned. We will dig deeper into this great software and there will be more tutorials about Pixelmate Pro in the future. See you in the next one.